This is Kai Pacha with the Weekly Pele Report for September 26th of 2018. I hope you can hear me. I'm down here at the Confluence, a sacred spot where two rivers come together. Oh yeah, this is the rainy season. That moon going through Pisces just brought in the water. Whoa, as she became full, you probably felt that full moon, yeah? And now she's in Aries. Thursday, she's going into Taurus. Saturday, moving into Gemini. And then on Monday, she goes into Cancer for the third quarter square to the sun. Not only that, but she is opposite Saturn. We're gonna have a T-square going on there. As far as the other planets are concerned, on Thursday, the sun comes into a beautiful trine with Mars. Really nice. I'm gonna fall off this rock, man. <laughs> oh! Yeah. You know, and today, today, you know, I mean, really all week, all right, Venus has been square Mars, all right, and it's going on. She's slowing down. Mars is, you know, uh, you know, speeding up. So, you know, they're going to be, you know, in opposition for a while now. And, uh, I mean, square. Sorry, it's hard to concentrate, man. I'm trying not to fall over. Got the freaking water all over the place. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> On Sunday, Pluto stations and goes direct. So, whoa, Nelly, let's look out, you know. And on Tuesday, Mercury, you know, comes into exact square with Pluto. So, you know, we've got the sun squaring Saturn ever since he went into Libra, okay, at the, at the equinox. Now we've got, you know, Mercury squaring Pluto. It's, uh, these are intense times. Uh, what can I say, you know? Uh, Black Moon Lilith whipping through Aquarius uh, actually goes into Pisces uh, by Monday. And the other thing that uh, is happening is that Chiron, you know, uh, is retrograde backing down. Yeah, Chiron is going back into Pisces. So in April, Chiron came forward into Aries, stationed at two degrees, and now he's going back into Pisces, and he's gonna stay back, you know, in there until next year. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, and I hope I can find a place that's quiet enough. Oh boy. Okay, well, I think I found a quiet spot. Uh, I'm a little nervous because I was so excited about this Pele report that I forgot my tripod. <laughs> so I got the camera just sitting on a rock hanging over the stream, man. If I lose my phone, my camera, I'm history. Ah! Sacrifice. <laughs> Life is full of sacrifice. That's actually a little bit what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about this Saturn, and I know it's a weekly report. Uh, I know that, you know, yesterday, Tuesday, when the sun was exactly square Saturn, okay, we were all feeling it. All right, it's all going on. And that Saturn's in his home sign of Capricorn, super powerful and strong right now. And it's going to come into the, you know, opposition, like I said, you know, the third quarter square moon opposite Saturn. We've got Pluto still up there in Capricorn. So, you know, this is this is the square between Capricorn and Libra. That's really challenging us right now. And I just want to look at Saturn with you a little bit today because Saturn Saturn is a complex archetype, yeah? You know, he's, he's an aspect of life, of our self, of our soul, that represents form, structure, responsibility, maturity, which is growth through time. Time. Ah! Kronos, time and space. They make the third dimension which is where we are all now existing. 
in our daily consciousness, maybe not our dreams, but I just want to point out that this Saturn is like so the shadow or so like opposite like all the other planets in some ways. I'm only going to go through some ways, okay, not all the ways, but Saturn, okay, look at the sun. I'm the center, right? I am the creative source. And Saturn says, no, there's external authority. You've got responsibilities to the community, to the group. You've got a job to do. Yeah. The moon. Well, I'm feeling this way and I want to be nurtured and I need to take care of myself. Saturn says, no, I'm sorry. You need a job. You need to accomplish something, do something. You're in this third dimension of time. Yeah. You know, Mercury, eh, Mercury, not so much, you know, uh, an opposite of Mercury. But Venus, Venus, sensuous, physical, you know, uh, connection, touching, feeling, you know, just really, you know, it's about relationship and love rules the heart chakra. And it's just like, and Saturn is just like duty, cold, barren. Capricorn is the mountain goat. It's a barren sign. Think of the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> it's cold up there. And Venus likes it a little warmer, yeah? And then look at Mars. I want my way. I'm going to do my thing. And Saturn says, boom. You know, you follow the speed limit or you get a ticket. You break the law, you go to jail. You're not going to just do anything you want. You need to discipline your impulses. <laughs> and then Jupiter. Expansion. Opportunity. Let's do it all. Yeah, baby. Saturn is contraction. Yeah, there's a time and a place for expansion. And you have to be cautious. And don't overspend, overexpand, overextend. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> right, you know? Wow. Uranus. Rebel, individuate the personal unconscious that wants freedom and liberation. And Saturn says, you don't show up for work, you get fired. Okay, yeah, you know, I, I, we don't need, you need to conform. If you want to be a, a psychologist, you get a degree in psychology. Yeah, there's an establishment here. You don't just like do anything you want. You're not liberated, basically. <laughs> Not in the third dimension. It's like, ah! Neptune. No laws, no rules, no time, no space. I'm you, you are me. It's all love. We're all one. It's all good. It's all okay. Saturn says there's good and evil. There's right and wrong. There's moral and immoral. There's, you know, you know, this is just like practical business. Yeah. So you better get down here out of your fantasies and out of the clouds and, you know, do your, do something. Yeah. And Pluto, Pluto, the soul existing, yeah, you know, from many lifetimes, the force of evolution, right? You know, just very powerful, powerful force. And Saturn comes along and just, you know, says, now you do this and later you do that and time is the ruler in this dimension you are here now get a job <laughs> it's just like so it kind of counter you know counteracts counterposes right with all the other planets and so when it's like really strong now it's very often experienced on a consensus level as external authority. Parents, job, preachers, boss. Okay, you know, you know, I've got to, you know, toe the line. So we want to talk about duty. Duty. Just what is our duty to the collective? Yeah, you know, you know, Capricorn is opposite cancer. Saturn is, you know, naturally opposite the moon. My professional worldly responsibilities and my personal emotional inner child and my feelings. So these are, and we're going to be feeling it, right? You know, with this third quarter square moon. All right. 
Do I take time out for myself? Or do I just work, 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 work? And other people now, the sun in Libra, business partnerships, okay? You know, our intimate relationships, you know, maybe demanding, expecting, wanting, you know, us to act in integrity and cooperate and compromise and show up for the other person. So it's just like, oh man. And of course you got Uranus over here, you know. <laughs> Taurus, Aries, just ready to just like bolt. Now you've got Chiron going back into Pisces. So I think that we're all really dealing with drawing the line, having the limits and the boundaries of this is how much I can do in a day, in a week, in a lifetime. And I gotta like, shh, yeah. Not react out of fear and, and suppress my, my emotions and my desire for, you know, connection and love in my life. Yeah, but it's like really, on the other hand, we do have a duty and we can fight it. We can resist it. Yeah. You know, Saturn is not just the government and the police and the teachers and the parents. Okay. No, 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 no. Ultimately, it is the law. The law. Like in divine law. Like in fate. Yeah. Like in destiny. That's what this week's mantra is about. And sometimes, you know, you can even feel that people that have problems with authority actually can be having problems with the ultimate authority. As in a big ego that wants to do its own thing and not do its duty. I mean, I just want to look at it, you know, in terms of the tapestry of life, okay? Or let's, better yet, like, if we are each a cell in, in the organism of creation, every cell in our body has a job. It's got a task. And yes, I mean, one of them can, you know, die or whatever, but they can also get infected, turn cancerous, destroy or, you know, assist, like, you know, build or destroy, create or destroy. So if we're like all a cell, okay, you know, in the body of creator, right? Or we are a thread in the tapestry of life, we do fulfill a function. We incarnated to fulfill a function. And that is just like what is so freaking cool about astrology and your astrological birth chart, yeah? It's getting in touch with your soul purpose. What is your destiny? What is your evolutionary intention for coming out of Neptune infinite multi-dimensional reality down into this school of planet Earth, I like to call it, yeah? Ow! Freaking crazy down here, man. It's intense. And Saturn, like I say, it contracts. It says, get on track. Do it right. You are either fulfilling a necessary function or your business goes broke, okay, you know? And, or, you know, or, you know, you fail. There is win and lose in the third dimension. You rise up above into the sixth and seventh chakra and you get beyond win and lose, beyond polarity. But the fact of the matter is, most of our body is below <laughs> the third eye. <laughs> we are mostly here, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, so this, you know, this really brings up. I just launched, I don't know if you saw the YouTube video, but myself and the Dream Team, you know, six other amazing astrologers are actually now presenting a course for you to become your own personal astrologer. Now, whether it's my duty or not, or my responsibility, I am feeling called. I have been asked, you know, to teach, to mentor people, to really bring, you know, and what the astrology chart does and what you can do for yourself 
better than anybody else is really meditate upon your chart, meditate upon your planets, your signs, your aspects, and really delve deep down into finding your duty, your purpose, your destiny. So it's like I'm really excited about it. It's a full year course, you know? So 2019 could be like a really huge, pivotal, pivotal year for you. But you know, just back to this particular time right now, Chiron has gone back into Pisces, okay? I th think these planets come forward into Aries. I wanna make a new start. I, you know, I've got a new impulse, a new soul intention, a new evolutionary need. And we kind of maybe felt it a little bit since April. And then Chiron says, oh, wait a minute. I better go back in and check with the boss. <laughs> I better go back in and check with divine intelligence. I'm going back into Pisces for a little while, you know. Let's like really, you know, let's let's meditate on this, you know, because I'm going to be in Aries for like eight years, okay, you know. And yeah, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. And there's a lot of confusion when we don't know our path, our destiny, our duty. We flounder or we try to resist it, or we try to escape it, or deny it, or just, you know, avoid the whole, you know, it's like, ah, you know, I'm not old enough, smart enough, rich enough, I'm gonna just like curl up into a little ball. But we can't be doing that now, right? Sun and Libra, other people, society, the world, our family, our, you know, our, our partners, they're all like, come on, come on. Come on. You realize like almost all the planets are above the horizon. Look at the chart here at the beginning. Okay. You know, the moon's going to be moving around, but really everything is from Libra to Pisces. These are the transpersonal signs. Uranus is the only one down here. So it's like the outside world is calling us to fill a big set of shoes to fill a big role. And it's just like, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, man. Ow. All right. Brings me to the mantra, naturally, right? There is an intrinsic order to life. Call it destiny or fate. And the sooner I accept my role, the greater the impact I'll make. This is the upside of Saturn, that we can influence the course of events on this planet, through time, in the future. Think of Da Vinci, Copernicus, all the great teachers, Einstein, leaving something behind for the next seven generations to learn and grow. So if we want to really, you know, clean our rivers or clean the air or, you know, <clears throat> you know, clean our food or, you know, whatever it is, right? You know, order, order is part of this reality. Yeah. It's not always easy to accept. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's it. That's you. you. I'm gonna repeat this mantra over to myself a thousand times this week. <laughs> you know, it's like, all right. You know, you know. So you may have been feeling it's hard to get out of bed, or you may be feeling old, tired. You just want to be like a rock, okay? You know, and you can't. And this can build frustration so that we can be in a frustrating time, you know? Or you can just wanna, you think that, you know, you got an idea and it should just happen. And then other people come along and go, no, no, we want it this way, you know, we want it that way. But it's like, oh, you know, I just did all this work, you know? You know? And so it's modifying and compromising and this is part of the new paradigm, you know, you know of Aquarius groups, community, co-creating it's not always easy but you know the effects 
and the results can be tremendous for our children and their children, etc., down the line. So yeah, God, a fish just bit my toe, man. <laughs> Must be time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> One more time and I'm out of here. Okay, <laughs> it is. <laughs> there is an intrinsic order to life. Call it destiny or fate. And the sooner I accept my role, the greater the impact I'll make. So hang in there. Use your self-discipline, self-control, grow up. And just, you know, say, yeah, I'm a goat. I'm going to climb this mountain. <laughs> Namaste. Aloha. So much love. <laughs>